What's up guys? Hey um, guys. We looking a little crazy with these eyebrows mm -hmm. right now. But um today I'm going to let you in on a story. I'm going to tell you about <coughs> my 16 and pregnant story. If y'all want to know the scoop and my reaction to finding out my yeah, sister because was prego. We're going to tell my side of the story but my sister she was feeling some kind of way about me being pregnant so she's gonna tell y'all how she felt the crime she committed I'm here today to state how I felt on that day so yeah if you want to know what ha happened stay tuned all right guys so it all started when a bitch got fucked <laughs> so it all started when i met the baby daddy the baby for the the baby for the um i was 17 years old i think and i'm not sure if he friend requested me first or if i friend requested him but we were friends on facebook and um we started like messaging on there y'all knew y'all went to the same school i don't know if he knew i went to the same high school as him but i knew that he went to the same high school as me and um we started like messaging on facebook and stuff and yeah then one day at school it was after school i was like hanging out with my friends or whatever were you there probably i'm not sure if she was there or not um but anyways i saw him walking with some of his friends or one of his friends and i was like hey you're you know from facebook and then he was all like oh yeah it's you and then like we just that that was our first time actually like encounter talking in person yeah um so that's how it all started and then we were together for like six months everything was like good so um we were together for like six months and that's when it happened that's when the shit went down okay 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 that's when it okay this is how it started happening okay um we had went to the park with it was me my sister my mom and at the time my boyfriend um I don't remember what park, but we went to some fucking park. And uh, we were there for a little bit. Okay. And after we left there, my mom took us to Taco Bell. And I fucking loved Taco Bell, okay? Like, I still love it. It's like my one of my favorite restaurants. After we went back to our house peace good thing you want to get your dad dad stop <laughs> check it damn peach oh, sorry little timmy got hurt real quick yeah i don't fucking wish. timmy <laughs> oh my god. Who's <laughs> We went to fucking Taco Bell, right? And then we went back home and you know a bitch was like grubbing on that shit because I fucking love Taco Bell. So I was feeling fine, everything was good. Um later on that night um the guy had went home <laughs> the guy the baby dad went home so yeah i was like you know what let me just 
shower or whatever i decided to get in the shower yeah and then i was like maybe halfway through showering and i started feeling really sick all of a sudden like i was feeling lightheaded i was um feeling like i wanted to throw up like all the symptoms you could have she was having i was like oh god like what the fuck is going on so i tried to like hurry up and finish whatever you know i got out and dried myself really quick because this feeling was like increasing fast like i was feeling so sick so my room was like right across from the um restroom from the restroom so I went like right, I just like ran inside there, sorry. And um, I had a little trash can by my door and right when I walked in my door, I just fucking yacked all over the place. <laughs> okay, so everything that I ate, I threw up. I told my mom what happened, right? And I really thought that I was like coming down with something like a stomach virus or whatever oh like oh my god i'm gonna laugh so i did i thought i was like getting sick so i was like let me tell my mom a bitch about to get out of school tomorrow and all of this shit right that's what i'm thinking like maybe i won't have to go to school tomorrow so i tell her and she's like you're pregnant and i'm i'm like a bitch is appalled by her comments. Ew, that word. I'm like, who the fuck? Like what? What's pregnant? Like I didn't what? know what? What's that? <laughs> How do you do that? I was like, what the fuck? Like, why would you say that to me? I was like, wh like what? Why would you say that? You know? I mean, a bitch knew what she'd been doing too, but I was just like, she wanna act like a kid and be I like, was like, why what? would why would my mom say that? You know? Did she hear something? <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, dude, what the fuck? Like, why would she say that? And I was like, no, I'm not. And she was later on that night. Um, so it was like me, my mom, and my sister at home. I don't know where the fuck my dad was. Okay. Um. She had went to H E B. She went to B H E. And <laughs> you said it wrong. I know. I. I. Oh my god. You're fucking wrong. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all can see what I see, y'all don't want to <laughs> see this. Okay. Um. Okay. 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 You were so gross. <laughs> oh, okay. So later that night. Oh, H E B. Yeah my mom had to like get some stuff from H-E-B so she was like I'm gonna buy you a test and I was like ain't no need for that okay like you getting too carried away ain't no need but you know moms right so she went ahead and bought me the test and when she got home she gave it to me and her and my sister were waiting in the kitchen and I went to go take the test in the restroom by myself and I was like kind of scared but like not really because I was like dude I, I I can't be pregnant you know so I freaking take the test I wait a little bit and then I look at it and it says positive and the bitch just starts laughing like I don't know I thought it was funny because I was like what the fuck like I could get pregnant like who the fuck <laughs> so yeah then I went to tell my mom and my sister and my mom wasn't really that mad because she was more like open supportive. and understanding yeah. yeah my mom is like okay well like it happened like what do you want me to do she wasn't one of those moms who kicked me out or like got really fucking pissed at me yeah or like they had an argument over it yeah like, and that's one thing that i love that you were love grateful for. and that i was very grateful for about my mom she's always been there for me like no matter what I decided to do with my life or 
like what the things that have just happened to me if i need her she's there always and i'm very grateful for that because because of her i have accomplished many things in my life so yeah I, the person that i was more scared to tell was my dad because my dad he's very like strict and like scary yeah what what the fuck are you doing you're a kid doing you're grown-up shit yeah if you can't even afford grown-up shit or like you don't you just don't know and my dad's the type to be t he like he just tells it like it is and he's he ain't scary. sugarcoat nothing yeah he's kind of scary sometimes he gonna make you cry in front of everyone <laughs> yeah so i was like dude like i don't want to tell my dad so I kept telling my mom, like, tell him for me, tell him for me, because I'm scared. Like, I don't want to tell him. A bitch thought he was going to beat her ass, okay? So my mom ended up telling my dad for me. And I want to say I remember him crying. And he was, like, upset and, like, sad. Because, obviously, that's his little gal his little girl wasn't his little girl anymore she was a fucking whore 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 um but i didn't tell my dad till like later later on because i was scared um after i told my mom and my sister i texted the boyfriend at the time and i told him like you know i'm pregnant and i swear i remember him being happy like he was like happy about it he was like excited you know like not there wasn't anything for me to think like oh he's gonna leave me but then <laughs> so when i found out and i actually went to my doctor's appointment i was like maybe two months when i turned three months pregnant that's when like everything just changed. the shit hit the fan and boom everything just went some of the mom to go duties ass beat. when it comes to grilling ass i can grill okay so anyway so when i was three months right when i turned three months everything just went completely down the, the fucking hill okay limit. like he didn't want nothing to do with me. He didn't want to fucking be with me. He didn't want me to tell him nothing about she the baby. She was the worst person. She this, she that. Blah, blah, blah. Blase, blase. <laughs> he wanted to break up with me. He didn't want to remember my name. He didn't want nothing to do with me. He didn't give a fuck that I was having his baby, you know? So... I was completely Torn. heartbroken, you guys. Like, I was so depressed. I could not eat anything, which was really bad because obviously I needed to eat because I was pregnant. And my mom would, like, try and get me to eat, and I just couldn't eat, you guys. Like, it was a sad, like, couple months for me because... I mean, like, I thought I was in love, you know? I thought that was, like, the only guy for me. Like, all of that shit that everyone thinks when they get when they get there, yeah. So, I was like, dude, this is the end of my world, the end of my life. Like, what the fuck, you know? It was so bad that I, well, I would tell my mom, like, I don't care. I don't want to have this baby. Like, I wouldn't, I wanted to abort, either abort my baby or give him up for adoption like that's how bad i was hurting like i didn't want anything to do with that guy but then i was like you know what like a lot of prayer you guys like god has always been there for me and so have my sister and my mom i was just like you know please help me like i don't want to feel this way i don't want to i want to be a good mom i want to be a good person and all of this stuff so 
eventually I started feeling a little better. I was like, I can do this. I'm gonna be a good mom, all of that stuff. And for someone so fucking young, you guys, to be going through that, it's just like crazy, you know? Like I was still Did in that make school. you grow up? Hell yeah, like, okay, like after I had my baby, I was still in high school. A bitch had to start making appointments by herself. And that was like, <sighs> ain't no mama calling no mo. That gave me hella anxiety. I hate talking to people on the phone. And I had to fucking make appointments for my kid. <laughs> um, But yeah, I was like going through a lot. And I was only 17 years old. So, I got, I started feeling better. Fast forward to me having my baby. Okay, so I thought it was going to be like a regular day, a regular appointment. But I ended up going to the appointment and I they checked me. I don't think I was dilated yet. But my blood, when they checked my blood pressure or whatever, it was very high. And they had asked me, like, are you feeling okay? Do you feel sick? Like, you know, where you have you been feeling sick today? And I was like, no, I feel fine. I had thrown up that morning, but that was it. Um, <laughs> you don't look like you got sacked in the corners of your eye. I went too far on the fucking eye. Inner yeah, they kept asking me if I was okay. <laughs> And I was like, yeah, I feel fine right now. I mean, I threw up this morning, but that's it. But my blood pressure was very high. So I had to go to the hospital. They ended up getting me a room. I had to um, stay there for a couple nights because also the baby's heartbeat kept like dropping Drop, very, yeah. very low. And then it would be back to normal so they thought that the um the umbilical cord was wrapped around his neck or something um, once they realized like oh that could be a possibility a possibility of what's happening like that's why his heart rate is going so low they were like we have to get him out now they have to act fast yeah they had to act fast and it was still like a week or two before be you before my due date so i i still had another like two weeks to go <clears throat> my due date was december 10th or december 11th one of those and um we still weren't even in december we were still like it was like november 26 november nah not even it was maybe like 27 28 around there um so they broke sure, my water right? yeah i had to get induced and then that's how it all started happening. Like once I felt the contractions, once they actually told me like, we have to get him out, this bitch over here was like, okay, I'm taking a vacation from school. Like, you know. I don't miss like a whole week of school because I would go, like I wouldn't go to school or I, I would get checked out early because I thought the she baby was really, coming. Yeah, she really did not want to miss the birth. Like, she wanted to be there. I had to be in that room. I was like, I ain't gonna miss it. I don't care if I get in trouble. I'm missing school. And I literally missed, like, a whole week of school. She ended up being there for the birth. You know, she got what she wanted. She didn't miss shit. Um, Mama had front row seats. When I had my baby, I remember wanting to cry so bad because, like, it was... If you're a mom and you're watching this, you know what I mean. Like, it's just the most beautiful feeling to actually finally hold your baby. Because it's like, dude, this baby was inside of me and now I'm like holding it. And then, like, you're just holding them and they feel all warm and like, it's a real baby. And it's like, that's so cute. So weird. And like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but. I'm sure people know what you're talking about. Yeah. If you're a mom, you know what I'm talking about. I'm glad I got to experience that too. Like being in the room. Um, holding my sister's leg. Seeing the coochie spread. Seeing all that. 
was very emotional. I too cried myself. It was a very uh, weird feeling. I don't know, I was just looking at my sister, then I stared at her vag, then I looked back at my sister, and then I was just like crying. And then my nephew came out and I was crying more because I was like, he's so beautiful. Like, oh my God, I'm getting teary eyed right now. But yeah, so giving birth is like one of the most beautiful feelings, but also one of the weirdest fucking feelings ever but yeah basically that's my story I mean he's six years old now he's one of my whole worlds because I have another son and he's also my whole world um and we're doing very great without mm, that guy yeah <laughs> Before we go on, it's my sister's turn to tell her side of the story, okay? Because she was feeling a little different than me, okay? Okay, go on with your story, girl. I'm pretty sure I was 15. And I'm over here thinking, like, this bitch better not be pregnant because who the fuck? It's supposed to be me and her up in here. This baby gonna come in here and she gonna leave me alone she's not gonna pay attention to me like she's gonna ignore me she's not gonna care I feel about like you, me you're yeah acting like you were attached to me or something nicole we i mean we're close now but like we were close uh, back then and then me. like that baby just messed it all up not really <laughs> but that's what i thought like that was my first reaction i was like fuck this like i don't want i don't want you to have a baby like i don't like the baby i'm not gonna hug the baby when the baby comes out i'm not gonna kiss it i don't want to talk to it i don't want nothing like i don't want that baby oh but then like i got over it like two or three months later and then i was the first one to ever uh feel the baby whenever he kicked and ever since then, I loved him. And then when he came out, I was just like, that's my whole heart. Like I, I picture him as my own child and I love him so, so much. And my other nephew too. I love to be a Thea. But yeah, that's just how I felt in the beginning. I was like, fuck no, I don't want this to happen. So, yeah guys that's my story of being in high school pregnant and shit i do want to let y'all know that i did finish high school i also finished um not college but i went to a trade school and i graduated and if you think that you cannot do it or if someone's telling you that you can't do it, bitch, you can fucking do it. Surround yourself with positive people. If any of y'all are going through this right now, guys, and you're feeling like it's the end of your world and you're not gonna be able to do it, you can do it, okay? okay. But anyways, before this gets too deep and we all start crying here, <laughs> um, that was my story for you guys. I really do hope that y'all enjoyed that story. Um, also, me and my sister want to tell y'all about our little giveaway that we're going to be doing once we hit 50 subscribers. Yes. <clears throat> so, we're going to be doing a giveaway for it's gonna be a $40 gift card maybe 50 okay don't get so excited um but it's either gonna be for Ulta or Sephora if y'all want to y'all can let us know in the comments if you want if y'all would rather have Ulta or Sephora and if y'all don't want to comment it's fine like yeah y'all we'll don't, ju don't have, have to. to we'll choose one okay so if you want to be entered in the giveaway you do have to follow us on instagram and subscribe to our channel and i will be checking if you are subscribed and following us on instagram it's christine k-r number one s-t-i-n-e underscore b-e-e 
and hers it's annemarie.bee -E underscore annemarie.bee -E underscore annemarie.bee -E -E underscore that's enough and Marie. Nicole, she's so gross, guys. But yeah, guys, that's going to be our little giveaway. Help us reach 50K. 50K. Dang. <laughs> you hella reaching for the stars. <laughs> Help us reach 50 subscribers. So yeah, once we reach 50 subscribers, we're going to do the giveaway. And then when we reach 100 subscribers, we'll do another giveaway, okay? And so on and so forth. That's pretty much all for this video. Um, I hope that you liked it. Please give it a thumbs up and share the video if it inspired you. Or if um, your sister or your cousin or, or if you can relate yeah um also don't forget to subscribe um subscribe to the motherfucking channel and that's it we're gonna go ahead and finish up here and then we'll come back so y'all could see what the fuck we looking like okay